Pregnancy is often described as a delicate phase in the life of women who risk their lives by using their bodies to sustain another life. While family planning, on the other hand, is having children when one is ready, physically or otherwise. Coming on the heels of similar advocacy visits to media houses and social media influencers, the interaction between a team of the Challenge Initiative, a non-governmental organization, and information officers across ministries in Ogo State hopes to further recruit more people, particularly those with useful platforms, to help propagate the message of family planning in the state among women. The interaction is informed by the understanding that proper information, especially via credible mass media, is needed to correct wrong beliefs about family planning among women while also helping to drive needed policies and programs in favor of family planning priorities. It's not everybody that can afford going to private hospitals to uptake a family planning method. So while we're propagating that, let's try as much as possible to dispel some of these things. We don't all get that. Speaking on the need for targeted investment in family planning, experts say the fair and wrong notions attached to family planning are misplaced especially in view of advancement in medical practice. We realize that even during the course of interacting with them, a lot of them have expressed their concerns about myths, you know, about maybe wrong ideas or the ideas they had before that. And we have been able to clarify a lot of issues. So this we in turn spread to the larger community and help us in having uptake in family planning services. Some of the participants not only agreed with family planning as a way out of population-related developmental challenges, but also pledged their commitment to spreading the good news. Basically, I think um, the mortality age, um, um, age amongst women has, I mean, we have a lot of work to do about it. A lot of people are dying because of lack of knowledge. And of course, the more we keep talking about it to people, to women, young adults, adolescents, I think it will get better and people will learn a lot. Information goes a long way in this issue. Um, I'm very convinced that this kind of seminar or lecture or initiative that has to do with um, enlightening the people will definitely dissuade them of their misconceptions. The advocacy effort continues in Abel Kuta, Kemi, Arunshulu Sikiru, NTA News.